There we go. Hello. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Morning, Cheryl. I'm good. How are you? Very well, thank you. And welcome to Virtual Coffees. And it's so virtual that I actually don't have a hot drink with me today because yeah. we we dived in from <laughs> I, well, I I dived in from dropping off the kitties um, and into a a Zoom call, which we finished not long ago. Um, mm -hmm. So what we're going to talk about today, Sarah, is actually a little bit of an uncomfortable topic. Ooh, it's like it. about what you do. And as business owners, what do you do when things don't quite go the way you want to? And you mm -hmm. either have unhappy customers or you've identified that something isn't going the way it's meant to. So I'm going to share, and this is sort of, you know, um, it's not so much a tell all, but want to be able to, to have people share their experiences as well, because, you know, I, I know, and I'll, I'll, I'll admit, I'll be the first to admit that said, I have all, you know, previously, I used to shy or hide away from um, criticism. Mm. Or if someone was unhappy with something, I'd just sort of go, I'm just going to hide. I'm going to hide in my corner. But you can't do that in business because mm. then, you know, it's not good for business, yeah. right? Um, and I want to share with the audience is that, you know, over the past, particularly when we're dealing with, you know, it's, it's very much a people business, yeah. right? And at the end of the day, we've got, we've got um, our virtual champions. Our virtual champions, obviously, are people as well. Um, but we don't, you know... As as a team, we don't always get it right. Yeah. And the first to admit, we don't Definitely. always get it right. And there's certain things that we just don't have control over. Mm. But the one thing that we've said from the very beginning is that we need to have communication lines open and transparent with Correct. our clients right so one of the things and this is what uh, I'd like to say I'm, I'm really really proud of is that because we've got a team that we are able to um, adapt to things a lot quickly but one of the values of the team has has been hey this person um, this client uh, or this person is unhappy what do we do Mm. And and make a decision as to what we can do to fix that from an yeah. early stage, and having those uncomfortable conversations. Okay. Yeah. So one example, and I'll go back to a, a, a dear client of ours, um, and we had just matched a fantastic champion with mm -hmm. him. Uh, and she'd been working with him for a week or so. Um, and then on a Sunday night, was it Sunday or was it even Monday? It was Sunday or it Monday. Sunday, yeah. Sunday night, she messaged and said, guys, I'm really, really sorry. Um, family emergency. My mom, you know, um, she's been going through, um, I'm not sure it was chemo or whichever, but it she was. needed to be able to take her back to um, to get treatment yeah um, and she was the eldest in the family and needed to do that um, mm. and so she messaged us and I'm not sure if that was you said Sunday night yeah so on on Monday morning was it Monday morning that we read the message and yes yes it was yes. Monday morning and she was meant to start with the client on the Monday morning no, I believe she already start, started a week before. Yeah, but she was meant so to start were... her, her, her day with the client. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, correct. Uh, on Sunday morning. Uh, sorry, Monday morning. In which case, I remember um, getting the call from you to say, <laughs> Cheryl, so-and-so is not starting. Um, she's meant to start sort of, um, she can't make it. I've got this email. Um, she can't start work today at all what do I mm. tell our client? And we mm. all sort of went, eek! <laughs> yeah. 
because she'd only just started and 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 you know we we in and we weren't sure um because we we're still trying to work out you know obviously it was immediate because she needed to go straight away mm. so I remember you and I know it really pushed you out of your comfort zone and it was a very Absolutely. very uncomfortable <laughs> but what made you I mean in saying that like in putting you in that position, and it's an uncomfortable position to have, what came out of that conversation with that client? It, it does pay off to have clients who are really easy to communicate with. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I know that not a lot, not all companies have those kind of clients. So for me, I was very grateful for the fact that that this particular client was very easy to communicate to. And so that conversation was not as difficult as it should be. So the the fixing part that came after that is the more difficult one is because we needed to find a replacement as soon as possible because their business will be affected with the loss of, of this particular champion. So what came up with that particular scenario is just, you know, learning that you always have to expect the unexpected Mm. and that you don't necessarily need to like curl up in a ball and, you know, hide away from things, but being, being part of of the leadership team of YPVA, it, it made me realize that I really need to own up to something Mm. and, seeing as there's a team behind you, Cheryl. So I, I just felt that uh, compulsion to proactively fix it or do something about it and make decisions out of it. Because mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken, that was probably the first bump in the road. I'm not saying it's yeah, a bad yeah. thing. I mean, you know, I, I miss this champion. She's, she's a really wonderful lady. Um, and I do hope that we still get to work with her someday. Um, but uh, it was it was an uncomfortable situation, as you mentioned. You know, yeah. it was an uncomfortable situation. But uh, and it it not only for me though. It really expanded the the possibilities for the rest of the team. You know, with Mariah and HR, um, with client success. So those sort of things, they had to be refined along the way. And as you mentioned earlier, we're not perfect. We don't get everything right at the first try um, because we're also a growing company, most likely the same as our clients. So uh, I love the opportunity to be able to be in that you know, history of my PBA of refining things as we go so absolutely yeah Yeah. and I think that's where again you you talk about having um great clients and that's the one thing that we you know not only is it about our client happiness it's about our champion happiness as well and we look for great clients to be that that are aligned in our values um that Mm -hmm. we know we can have a long-term successful relationship with Mm -hmm. because then you know we get excited when we when we talk to our clients you know I love it when we have those conversations like you know I just caught up with so and so it's so good to see them really good to see how their business is working but having those conversations as well where we're like hey um this has happened and we don't know all the right answers but we're going to fix it yeah and um in the meantime Um, this is what we will do for you Um, but also in the meantime like ensuring that uh, the champions as well are looked after because in that situation again um, with that champion it was really emotional um, having you know she was really actually enjoying what she was doing Mm -hmm. um, except that she had family obligations as Mm -hmm. well and we and and that was genuine and we we understood that but the great thing was that we were able to find a um, a suitable replacement yeah. in a in a fairly short time. Correct. Yeah, um, and that's been a really great, really great relationship. From yeah, they're on. doing so well. 
right now. Mm -hmm. I love it. Love it. And so, um, you know, and, and we've had other situations where, you know, we've had, um, like we really, what I'd like to say, we embrace criticism to a certain extent. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, tell us what's wrong and what it is that we can fix that you think needs fixing because it only makes us stronger and it makes, it means that we are able to deliver a better service. We are yeah. deliver, able to give more value. And I, again, you know, I think for a long time for myself, I've always sort of shied away from having those difficult conversations. Same. <laughs> yeah. And we do, we, we really yeah. do. And uh, because we're like, oh, we try so hard to be good at something not necessarily perfect mm -hmm. but we try so hard to do something well and when there's an opportunity for someone to to um to criticize it's like oh, step yeah a step yeah. in the heart so what i want to encourage you know all business owners is to have those difficult conversations yeah absolutely you know? have those difficult conversations and go okay not take it personally Mm. That's a big one because we all do. You I had a to bit learn of a that lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I had to learn that lesson yeah. recently, in fact. <laughs> yeah. And that, and I think, remember, I, I, I remember saying, let's not take it personally. Let's mm. take it that, you know, we actually want them to share it because if they didn't care, they wouldn't share. Ooh, that rhymes as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If they and even if they didn't care, the fact is that they were sharing means that hey, they're highlighting something that actually we can use that as fuel mm. to change around. So um, you know, have a think for those those that are in the in the audience, and you know, in in your business, like ask yourself in terms of sort of your what is your um, your client? You know, we've got a happiness guarantee. If they're not happy, we're not happy. <laughs> yeah. We're not happy. We get very actually un quite uncomfortable. So what is your sort of guarantee to your, your clients and your customers in dealing with you? And how are you going about ensuring that you're doing what you're able to um, to improve your level of service or improve your business? And are you willing to have those difficult conversations with people? Mm. And if not, why not? And if you would like to, what do you feel you need to do to get to that point? For you, I want to ask you, Sarah, because obviously I, I put you in a few uncomfortable positions. Thank you. <laughs> it was, <laughs> thank you. Oh, well, all right. I'm glad it's a thank you and not something else. But what was it that got you from, oh, I really don't want to do this. It's so uncomfortable to, I'm just going to take action. I'm just going to do it. What What was the thought, thought process in your mind? I really, hmm, that is a good question because I never really tried to understand where, uh, where I was, like in my head, I really didn't want to have those conversations because it's just re really difficult and really uncomfortable. And um, maybe it's also part of my, you know, childhood because I, I, I used to feel like I'm an achiever. So mm -hmm. when I mess up, it's like really, uh, I don't want to be in this So place. crushing. <laughs> yes, it's so crushing, and I and I and I do take it personally. By the way, when when I feel like I did something wrong, yeah. Um. Yeah. So that admission to 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 people, to our clients, to our champions, that we could have done better. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's very difficult, but at the same time, uh, like I always uh, tell you and Mariah, I always think like like a business owner and that level of ownership and responsibility mm. and at the end of the day when I'm having those difficult conversations because um, I'm more client facing than champion uh, when I'm having that conversation with a client at the end of the day 
whether they stay with us or not is still up to them you know and i couldn't i couldn't bring myself to be uh too attached to that decision because that decision is not mine to make mm. the the best thing that i can do is really just be authentic you know we always say that that's one of our values uh in our company that whenever i talk to these people i'm i'm in that space of us wanting to be their partners mm. and and i want and i want that partnership to be long term and so i wouldn't want to be um not authentic when i'm talk when i talk to them so you know when i talk to them i lay i lay my cards down and say this is uh this is what's happening um but i guess the more important thing is this is what we're going to do to fix it. Mm. So yeah. before I have that difficult conversation, it's not just the admitting of uh, it's not just the admission of the wrong, but also what can we do to make it better. Yeah. And yeah. would you give us that opportunity to take that step to make it better? Yeah. And so far Like I said, I'm glad that we're working with really wonderful people because they do give us that opportunity to make it up to them. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's things, you know, is it it's sometimes it's just that, that it's out of our control. Like yeah. it's not even something that that we would say we've done wrong. It's out yeah. of our control. Correct. Uh, but what's important is that you take the action to be able to to um for one of a better word yeah fix it yeah <laughs> fix it right we talk about fix it, fix this next um so i think that that's something that i really want to share with people because it is you know we often see the the fun or the success that happens in the front end of businesses yeah. but we don't necessarily talk about the stuff that everyone shies yeah. away from because at the end of the day we are every every business is going to come up with you know um these conversations and yeah. and, and it, it is we you know it, it is we are talking about a service service business so there's going to mm. be different situations personalities and all of that what i'd love for people to to share with us in our audience is like you know when were you able to turn an uncomfortable conversation or an unhappy client into a happy one. A happy one. Yeah. A happy one. It's a simple. We've got a happiness guarantee. Not happy then <laughs> we've got to we've got to do something. So that is our a little message and our story for the day. Um yeah. I did want to also um say that I'm very very proud. I know we've had we've had a few Um, not a lot, like I said, just, you know, just, just a few things that we've had to work through internally. Mm. And so, so proud of the way that the teams really banded together mm. and, and work towards a solution. Yeah. It's really, really cool. Um, and that the core values of who we are and how we are to our clients, it really is the foundation of the way yeah. that we've been um, presenting ourselves um so i think that's that that's fantastic um we have uh, a whole lot of other calls i believe in yes. the next few minutes so i'm going oh, to day. we have a packed day so uh anyone out there uh, particularly if you're in melbourne um feel free to reach out to us as well i guess for any sort of support that you want Um, I know I've been sort of saying this over and over again because I know that it is challenging times. Um, mm. Poor Melbourne's gone into stage four lockdown and everyone sort of, eek, you know, lots of people out there, whether you're working from home, homeschooling, I've been there, done that. Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, just reach out. If you just want to have someone to talk to, we're more than happy to just have a, have a chat, um, you know, have a bit of a, a rant if you want. Uh, but know that you're supported. Know that um, we're here um, if you need that support as well. So thank you. Thanks for the chat, Sarah, and sharing. Thanks, Cheryl. All right. I will be speaking to you again soon. Yep. See Ciao. you in a bit. Take care. Take Bye care, guys. everyone. Bye-bye. Yes.